Um, today our lesson is about word stress. And this is a really important part in English as stress in words. Um, if, if words are pronounced incorrectly, then the overall uh, message of what you're saying can sometimes be very difficult for the listener to understand. Um, and there's a trick that I want to tell you about. Um, in English, in words that have two or more syllables, right? So um, late, lately, right? There's late, one syllable, lately, two syllables. In lately, we are pronouncing the first syllable, lately, I'm pronouncing the first syllable more strong. Um, so we, the way that we stress syllables is that we say the vowel clearly, okay? And sometimes we say it louder. So we say it longer, clearer, and louder, okay? Those are the three kind of characteristics of a stressed syllable in English. Longer, clearer, louder, okay? Let's take a look at the stuff here I have on the board and see if we can help it make some sense for you guys. So, here's our first word, banana. Banana, how many syllables is that? Banana, three syllables, right? So we've got three. Now, let's decide where the stress is in this word. Banana, where is its strongest? Banana, in that second syllable, right? So if we separate these like this, Banana. So we're going ba nana. So we're stressing here, this syllable. Now, I want you to notice when I'm stressing this, I'm saying this longer, louder, and more clearly. Banana. Banana. Okay. So even though we have three A's, this one is pronounced a little bit differently. Ba, uh, uh. Na, a, ah, uh. Okay? Now, that uh sound is a short sound. Your mouth is very relaxed, and we call it a schwa. And the IPA, the phonetic symbol for that sound is uh. It's a really important sound in English. master this sound and know when and how to use it correctly, your English pronunciation will be so good. Okay, so let's keep practicing. Travel. Start with how many syllables? Travel. Two, right? Right there. Travel. Which one is stressed? Travel. It's that first one, right? This, so the it will look like this, right? Higher and lower. This one is your stressed syllable. So this vowel, ah, is very clear, okay? That is the, okay, that's the ah sound, okay? Ah, travel. Now this sound is the reduced schwa sound. Travel, uh, 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 a short sound. So any vowel in English, can be reduced to this sound. I'm gonna say that again because it's important. Any vowel in English can be reduced, made smaller, to this sound, okay? So it could be A, E, I, O, or U. Any of those vowels and any of the sounds that are a part of those vowels um, can be reduced to this uh. Take a look, travel, travel. Here's your next one, let's go over here. Um, pencil, pencil. So we've got two syllables. It's my little abbreviation for syllables. Two syllables, pencil. Which one is the stronger one? Am I saying pencil or pencil? the first one, right? 
pencil. So this is your strong one. So it's going to sound like this. Okay? Pencil. Good. And again, eh, this is the eh sound here. And this one, this sound right here, becomes this. Pencil. Oh, oh. Okay? It changes a little bit because of that L. But, um, but this one's clear. This one's reduced. Okay? I'm not saying pencil. No. Pencil. Okay? Um, next one. America. America. All right, how many syllables do we have there? America. Four. Okay? So, let's go. A, mer, i, ka. America. Where's the stress? A, uh, am I saying America? No. America, the second syllable. So, this one is my stressed syllable. Air is the vowel here. Okay, air. America. Okay? So keep this in mind. So the other sounds then are this uh, America, America, uh, at the end. So the redu, and actually in this one, the beginning vowel sound is uh as well. Uh, America. Okay? So those other sounds that are not stressed become small and they turn into that sound. Okay, just to review. We have three ways that we can stress a syllable in English, okay? We can make it longer, louder, and more clear, okay? Three ways, longer, louder, more clear, okay? And then those are the stressed syllables, so a, uh, uh, okay? Remember then that the unstressed ones become this sound, okay? Longer, clearer, louder, and the unstressed is that schwa sound, uh, a shorter, relaxed English vowel sound. All right, you guys, good job today. Continue to practice some of this stuff, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.